My topic of review today is on the law of cosines. The law of cosines, or called the cosine rule, is a way for calculating the third side of any triangle when the opposite angle and two remaining sides are known. So what exactly do you use? Well, the relationship between the side lengths and the angles is expressed in the formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c. You can switch the variables around so that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cosine of a, or b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of b. But it is easier to just remember one way, for example the c squared one, and change the variables as needed. As you can see, in the triangle, the included angle and the sides b and a are given, and the goal is to find the third side c. You can use the law of cosines to find either the length of a side or the sides of an angle. For example, here you can find the third side length using the given sides and the included angle. In triangle ABC, the lengths 6 and 14 are given and the included angle is 57 degrees. The goal is to find BC or X. You can plug in the given variables and numbers into the formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c using x, 6, 14, and 57 degrees. Thus, x squared is the third side, so x squared equals 6 squared plus 14 squared minus 2 times 6 times 14 times cosine of 57, which is the included angle. Then, if you keep on simplifying this, x squared equals 36 plus 196 minus 168 times cosine of 57. You will get 36 plus 196 minus 168 times 0.545 equals x squared. You first multiply negative 168 times the cosine of 57, which is 0.545, and then you add 36 plus 196 to get x squared equals 140.501. Thus, if you square root x, x equals 11.853, which is the length of the third side. In triangle ABC, as you can tell, the angle is not given, but all three side lengths are. If the side lengths are AC equals 5, CB equals 9, and AB equals 6, you can plug in the third side as 6 squared equals the two other sides, 5 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 5 times 9 again times cosine of C. If you keep on simplifying this, you will get that 36 equals 25 plus 81 minus 90 times cosine of C. You can rearrange this to solve the equation. If you add 25 plus 81 and subtract it from 36 on the other side, you will get 36 minus 106 equals negative 90 times cosine of C. Thus, you will get negative 70 equals negative 90 times cosine of C. And when you divide negative 90 from each side, you can simplify 70 over 90 to get 7 over 9. 7 over 9 equals cosine of C. And when you use the inverse cosine, inverse cosine of 7 over 9 equals approximately 38.942. Therefore, the angle of C, or angle ACB, equals 38.942 degrees. As for right triangles, the law of cosine works in conjunction with the Pythagorean theorem. For example, the cosine of a right angle is 0. So in c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c, cosine of c equals cosine of 90, which equals 0. So no matter what negative 2ab is, you will always get negative 2ab times cosine of 0 equals 0. So the formula is simply c squared equals a squared plus b squared, which is the formula for Pythagorean theorem. So there you have it, the law of cosines.